everybody! Welcome to Turtle Tots! Yay! Give yourself a good hand, right? Woo! Shout out to everybody. Um, let me know. Uh, give me a shout out if you're listening and make sure you can hear me. We don't, uh, we had some tef technical difficulties last week. My name is Miss Stephanie and I work at the Marine Science Center and we have today with us Alana. Say hi, Alana! We're so happy you tuned in. Every week we have a new animal we talk about and we have a lot of fun. Um, but if you've joined our Turtle Tots classes before at the Science Center, you know before we get started that we do a welcome wiggle. So every morning when you wake up, you have lots of fun. You eat your Cheerios. Did we have Cheerios this morning? Oh yeah. And you get a little wiggly and you got to get those wiggles out. So I need all my friends to get together. We're friends. We're going to do it. Stand up and let's do our fun welcome wiggle. Woohoo! So if you're, if you have been here before, you know, you have two hands. Let me see two hands. We have two hands. Get that energy. And we have pointer. Can I see a pointer? Can I see a pointer? Give me, show me your pointer. And a thumb man, and we're gonna pretend like we're perfect girls. And we dig it in the ground. We might be talking about hermit crabs today. It's gonna be fun. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, now let's do big arms like a bird. How about can we be bald eagles? Woo! Be a bald eagle. We got a little chicklet over here, a little chicklet bald eagle. Big arms, ooh, up and down, up and down. All right, now let's take two hands together and let's be fishies. Fish, 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 up and down and around. Let's be a dory fish, let's be a tang. Ooh, and around and up and down and up and down. All right, now let's be a really cool dolphin. And we're gonna jump in the waves. We're gonna surf the wave. Can you surf the wave? I love to surf the wave. Get your arms out. And we're gonna jump and around. Get those wave legs out. We see how high you can jump. Woo! Up and down and around. Okay, now we're gonna put our big arms out. Pretend like they're water wings of a cow nose ray. Remember, we have cow nose rays at the Science Center. I can't wait to see Miss Gracie, Poseidon, and Little Pancake up and down and around. Ooh. Okay, now we're gonna have big arms and we're gonna be a sea turtle with our big, cool flippers. Wow, we can swim in the water with our cool, big, giant, strong, Flippers. Woo. Swim, swim, swim. Okay, All right. Now we have more eel. A more eel. I love it. Okay, get together. And we go slow. And we go around. Woo. Okay, let's crisscross. Woo. And around. And then we go up and down and around. He's so cool. All right, now, last but not least, we're really slow, slow, slow sea stars. And we have our sticky feet, and we move here, and then we move there with our sticky feet all along the ocean floor until we come to a tasty clam, and we wrap around. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You guys did so good. Thank you so much for participating with that. That was a lot of fun. I feel all my wiggles out. Lots and lots of fun. So today, we are going to read and learn about Happy Hermit Crab, a tale of a shell seekers. Look at all those beautiful shells. They're different colors different shapes and different sizes. And that is the home for a hermit crab. I am so excited 
to read this book. So find your cozy spot. Are you cozy? I'm cozy. And we're gonna learn about Happy Hermit Crab lived on an island. An island is land covered by water. Water was all around it. I can't even barely spy Happy. Look at that. He's so little. He's right there. Do you spy him? Yeah. Happy was a land hermit crab. Oh my goodness. There are hermit crabs who live in the water and hermit crabs who live on land. So Happy's a cool dude. He lives in the land, on the land, at the beach. Happy was happy, are you happy? Because he had a safe home. The young crab lived in a snail shell that he found on the island. So I see him, he looks pretty happy moving around. Many hermit crabs lived there. They all lived in shells that once belonged to other creatures. What other creatures? Can you imagine what other creatures they lived in? How about a gastropod, which is called a conch or a snail? One day, happy hermit crab met an older crab, Auntie Cece. Even hermit crabs have aunties. Look at, she's a lot bigger than he is, and she's in a bigger shell. He learned many things from her. Why do we live near the sea, he asked. Hermit crabs must have water to live, Auntie Cece answered. We began life as little creatures in the sea. You drifted in the water when you were a baby crab. Auntie Cece said, wow, I can't even count all the little baby hermit crabs floating in the water. Can you count them? It's a whole lot. They're floating at the top of the water. You couldn't grow up to be a big crab without that water. You are growing every day. So just like you are, hermit crabs are growing every day. Soon, I will need a larger shell, said Happy. Wow, so when you grow, do you get really cool shoes and maybe cool new jammies and a cool new jacket to keep you warm? Well, if you're Happy the Hermit Crab, you get a new shell. Happy was like those blue crabs, Crabby and Nabby, remember those? He could shed his body shell in order to grow larger. Who else sheds their body? What about a snake? Does a snake shed? Have you met Tobias or Cornelius at the Science Center? They shed as they grow too. And so do Krabby and Nabby. That is so amazing, kind of cool. One day he buried himself in the sand so he would be safe because he's growing. Do you see him? He has to bury himself in the sand because his shell is too small. He has to shed. It was time for him to shed. Let's see what happens. Later, Happy crawled out of the sand and was soft after shedding. He was so surprised that his body was a totally different color. Wow, that is quite amazing. I will ask Auntie Cece why I changed color, he thought. But first, I must find a new home to live in. Right away, he said to himself, it is so scary to have a soft body like this. He's got to hurry on. He uses his little walking legs and his little clawed legs to scoot himself along the sand in search for a new shell. Happy knew he might be eaten by another animal when he was soft. So he has to wait for that hard shell to get hard, or the, his body to grow that hard shell again. That takes a couple of days. And he's gotta find some really good safety really fast. 
He was always a happy crab until it was time to seek a new home. Uh-oh, what is he gonna do? It's so much trouble, he sighed. That's a lot of work. If you had to find a whole new uh, home all the time, boy, that's a lot of work. Happy looked and looked until he found just the right shell, just the right size. Look at that. He seems like he is happy. That is a beautiful shell. But Huey, another young hermit crab, saw it too. What's going to happen? Both crabs wanted it. They both wanted to grab the new home. Uh-oh, are they going to get in a fight? You can't share that home. Only one can have it. What's going to happen? Happy moved quickly, turned around, and swung his body backwards into the shell. Got here first, he chirped. Wow, he was pretty slick getting into that home so fast. But Huey Hermit Crab cried, it's mine, not yours. He tried to grab the shell with his claw. Stop and go away, cried Happy. Wow, Happy doesn't seem too happy about that. He is protecting his shell. At last, Huey Hermit Crab went away to look for a different shell. I think he gave up. Happy Hermit Crab was so happy. I wonder where Auntie Cece is, he thought to himself. I want to show her my new home. He worked pretty hard to find that new home. I bet he's pretty proud of himself. Where are you, Auntie Cece? Happy chirped. I can't find you. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I'm right here, Auntie Cece answered. Come and see my new shell. <gasps> wow, she kept growing. Wow, her shell is purple and so pretty. No wonder I couldn't find you, Happy Hermit Crab Chirp. I have a new home to live in too. And my body is a different color after shedding. Wow. Why did my body change? Why did my color change? Happy asked. It all depends on what you eat. Auntie Cece replied, different foods make your body a different color. So next time mommy says you have to eat broccoli, you can say it's going to make you turn green. And we don't want to turn green. No. <laughs> now come with me, she said. It's time to get some water beside the sea. Then we will look for some food, Auntie Cece said. That's a good idea, Happy chirped. I'm hungry. Happy Hermit Crab was happy again. He got water from a pool beside the sea and began to feed on little scraps of food. So hermit crabs live by the sea on the shore and they eat all sorts of different little pieces of food. Food that washes up with the tide. And they're really important because they do that. He ate any kind of food, seaweed or whatever he could find lying on the beach. He wasn't very picky. But just like us humans, Happy liked, especially liked food he hadn't eaten in a little while. So you definitely don't wanna eat the same thing every day, right? Mac and cheese is good, but not, maybe not every single day for every single meal. He likes to have very, he likes to have mac and cheese and maybe some pizza and some chicken nuggets in there. You know, a good diverse group. Hattie, another young hermit crab, came along and began to eat beside him. Look at her, she looks a little different. Totally different, what is going on? I was growing so fast, she said. After I shed, I crawled into this shell, but it's not a very good one, and I don't feel safe in it at all. Look at her shell, her tail, which is the soft part of her body is sticking out. I don't like it. It looks an awful lot like trash. I wonder if it is. Happy was so surprised to see that Hattie was living in the broken bottle. Auntie Cece came crawling up to them. Trash like that hurts us animals, she said. I am glad helpful humans pick up litter and keep our beaches clean. 
So we clean our beaches, not just for the sea turtles laying their eggs right now, or the pelicans, or all the gulls, but we also keep our beaches clean for all the little hermit crabs like Happy and Hattie. Come, we will find a better shell for you, Happy said to Hattie. Hattie hermit crab was pleased that Happy would help her. Hattie and Happy crawled along seeking just the right shell for her. They found some empty shells on the beach. Look at all those empty shells. They're all different types, but they have to find just the right one for their home. Just like we have to look for just the right home, the hermit crabs need a good home. Everybody has to have a home. Suddenly, a big seabird came near. I was looking for a crab to eat. It was looking for a crab to eat. Uh-oh, do you spy the gull? He's flying up high and coming down low, looking for some tasty little treats. Quick, Happy said to Hattie. Crawl in this shell. Hattie Hermit Crab quickly crawled out of her bottle shell and backed into a new one. Wow, she's pretty fast. Do you feel safe now, Happy asked. Yes, thank you. You are a good friend. Hattie replied, I will help you seek a shell next time you need one. That will be so nice, Happy Hermit Crab said. He was happy he had a new friend. You're always better together. It's always nice to have a friend. But now I am going to look for more food. Happy Hermit Crab chirped goodbye as he happily crawled away. So this book was so fun. It taught us all about hermit crabs. This book was written by Suzanne Tate and illustrated by James Melvin. I love this book. If you liked it, please share with me. Let me know if you liked it. I liked it. So we learned about hermit crabs. They are pretty cool guys. Have you ever seen one outside of its shell? Well, I did a really cool thing and I made a nice little chart so we could see. Uh, this is a giant Caribbean hermit crab. He's one of the biggest little hermit crabs out there. He lives in the water in the ocean. Wow. He has a soft tail. This is his tail. He uses this tail to tuck into a shell. This is also where his abdomen, that means his belly, for when he eats tasty food. He also has two eyes, one on each side. Does he have two eyes? Count with me. One, two. He also has antennas. They help him to sense things kind of like touching. He has claws. So these are called chelipeds. Kind of cool name. But those are his uh, clawed legs. He uses those to pinch, 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 and to scavenge around to look for tasty little food. He's not too picky. He's gonna eat all sorts of meat and algae, all the stuff that big fishies eat and break apart and falls down to the bottom. He scurries along with his little legs, see his legs? And he looks for food to eat. So any kind of dead and decaying matter, this little guy is gonna eat. He is so important for the environment to help keep it nice, healthy, and clean. So, just like snakes shed their skin, we have a giant Caribbean hermit crab. If you've never seen him at the Simon Center, when we open back up, I want you to check it out. I have our really cool dude here. This is the, hear that? That is the hard skeleton of our giant Caribbean hermit crab that lives with us at the Science Center. And his, here is his chelipen and his little walking legs. And if you look really close, you can even see some of the little hairs. Every part of this little guy, he sheds. How cool is that? See that? So these are his walking legs. This is what he uses to grab his tasty meat. And this is a really cool conch shell that he will live in. That's a beautiful shell. So did you ever see a hermit crab 
that likes to decorate their show, hermit crabs will even put other things, living things on their shell to hide themselves from any kind of naughty bird that would want to eat them. So we made our really cool craft, a hermit crab. And I need my helper, Alana. She helped me yesterday. We took a, uh, you can use a piece of paper or a uh, piece of paper and cut a circle and another cardstock piece of paper to use your hand. Pipe cleaners and googly eyes. So these are his walking legs and these are his googly eyes and his hard shell. So I got a little creative, you guys know sometimes I get creative, um, and I put a little anena, anemone that is growing on our little hermit crab. I want to call our little hermit crab happy. Say hi happy, so cool. So let's show you what we did. We're going to move over here. Oh, I forgot about our friends. These are our friends that we went and collected. I'm going to turn off the sound. So this is the home for a hermit crab. In this show is a hermit crab. But guess what hermit crabs do? They get very afraid. So this is what we call a crowned. Oh, you can hold it for me, Alana. Thank you. A crowned conch shell. And you can see his home doesn't look too good. He needs a new home but it still works. So this is, let's move your hand over here, right here. This is an actual living crown conch. And he is a little snail, also known as a gastropod. So he can get a little bit bigger than this. They're called a crown conch because they have these beautiful crowns that spiral out all along at the top and the bottom of its really cool hard shell. This shell actually has a little bit of algae growing on it because these guys live in a place that has lots and lots and lots and lots of algae. And they actually want that because it hides them. You might have heard me say the word camouflage. Can you say it with me, camouflage? That means it helps them to hide. So when they get really afraid, they go inside their shell. And they have this, it's called an operculum. It's like a door to your room. When you get upset and you want to go in your room and be by yourself, not around your brother or your sister, you shut the door. Well, when this little crown conch gets afraid, he goes inside his shell and shuts the door. So when he gets dies away, the circle of life, one grows, the other grows, this little hermit crab scoots along and looks for a new shell. So this is the actual same shell. He's got some holes in it. So it looks like this is a pretty old shell. Can you see that? And in here is this striped hermit crab. Now, I can take him out of the water because he lives in an estuary. And an estuary is called an inner tidal. That means it's changing every six hours, which is a long, it's like almost all day. The water either comes in like a flood with the tide or goes out. And these little striped hermit crabs can scurry around and at low tides walk around outside of the water. And they do that to search for food. They're yummy, yummy, yummy. So they eat all that dead and decaying matter. And he is a super little shy hermit crab. Let's see if I can put you up to him. He can't, I can't see him very well. He is the, the shyest little guy ever. So he's a striped hermit crab. Um, we're gonna, another shell. Do you like to go walk the beach looking for shells? Raise your hand. I love looking for shells. Next time you go to the beach and you come across a really beautiful shell like this, this is a banded, banded tulip shell, and it has a nice little empty home I want you to think of Happy the Hermit Crab. This could be the home for Happy the Hermit Crab. So when we go looking for shells, let's use 
our memory and think about happy and happy hermit crabs. This could be a home for them. Pretty cool. This is a banded tulip uh, shell. So if a hermit crab can't find a shell, they're a little bit naughty. They will actually, um, they will actually kill each other for a new shell. They're a little bit naughty like that. Oh, he came out. I see his two antennas and his little eyes. And he might put down his little walking legs and scurry around. You can see some of this little like algae and that is uh, tasty little treats for the hermit crab and also for the crown conchs. Those guys are gonna eat all sorts of meat and algae. They live in the Indian River Lagoon. They're very, very, very abundant in this area. The striped hermit crab is probably one of the most common hermit crabs in our intercoastal Indian River Lagoon or Halifax uh, River uh, environment. So let's make our craft. So we made, Alana made one yesterday. And so you use your paper. I have my cardstock paper right here. You can take paint. We used red paint. I need my volunteer. I don't know where she ran off to. We're gonna get her back over here real quick. I'm gonna paint her hand. So moms and dads, she just did a ninja move. She <laughs> ran back over here. So we're gonna put this hand right here. Is your hand ready? Let me see your hand. This is such a fun thing. Let's put it up here so everybody can see. And we're gonna paint her hand. Oh, so if you haven't done this, moms and dads and friends and nanas and grandmas and turtle top family friends, this is the coolest and funnest thing. To do. You can also pour the paint in a plate and just squash your hand in there. But since we're in our living room and I have a rug here, I'm, I'm gonna try and do it without making a giant mess. But it is a whole lot of fun to make a giant mess. Who doesn't like getting red paint all over their hands? I sure love it. Okay, so we're gonna take our hand, we're gonna squash it and make it nice and big just like that. And don't you know, I brought a towel, yay! I remembered to bring a towel. So you're gonna take your hand, a white towel, it's washable paint. Can you squash it nice and good, can you see that? Yeah, just like that. And we're squish it, and this is going to make the walking legs for our really cute, you can lift it up. Wow, that's called a handprint. You have just been fingerprinted. Watch out. So then you would take that and you would cut it out around the hand, the whole paper with your scissors, you cut around, let it dry, you're gonna cut it around and that will make your uh, walking legs for your hermit crab. Then you're gonna take another piece of paper and if you're really artsy like Alana did yesterday, she did um, a little like uh, two-toned two uh, painting and you just simply cut it out, cut out the hand, a circle, you staple it, you can certainly glue it but we stapled it on the back. And then you're gonna take your little pipe cleaners and cut them. And she just colored in the eyes. I used googly eyes right here, cause it's so cool. And we made little hermit crafts. If you have extra pipe cleaner, you can make your little anemone anemone and you can decorate. Did you see Moana? and shiny, hear about shiny, shiny like to be so shiny. Well, that's an example of camouflage. That's using other things to hide themselves from any kind of naughty little bird that would want to eat them. Pretty cool, huh? So hermit crabs are important. Our little striped hermit crab right over here is scooting around. We have a special license at the Marine Science Center. It's called the Aquatic Specimens Collection. Uh, license that we get from FWC that allows us to collect little hermit crabs and snails like this for the purpose of, e of education. But before we're done, or as soon as we get done, we're going to say goodbye, put them back in their habitat, their home, because we want them to live a full life. But we learned, did you learn? 
Yes, yes I did. I learned too. We're always learning. So we love the hermit crab. They clean up. They're like the cleanup crew of the estuary. So let's, before we leave, let's find our shout outs. There we go. Woo! We have shout out to Ben. Ben did his really cool, very creative octopus. Look at those eight arms. Wow, I caught them tentacles last week because I wasn't thinking. They're called arms, not tentacles. <laughs> what are you gonna do on live TV? So, Ben is a super cool dude. Thank you for sharing your awesome possum photo. If you have a photo, please share, we love to see. We also have Kenley and Quinn. They made colorful fish crow face masks. I love how colorful it is. That is so cool, so shout out. And also, a huge shout out for our birthday girl of the week, Miss Caroline. Yay, thank you for uh, uh, letting us know and watching and tuning in to the Science Center. Thank you, more importantly, for your fundraising efforts. You're 11 years old, congratulations, and already starting fundraising. I am so impressed, that is quite amazing. So thank you, Miss Caroline, happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed your birthday. So my friends, we're gonna come back next week. Next week's gonna be a really cool, very special, never been done before at Turtle Tots program. Um, if you made a really cool hermit crab, please take a picture with your Turtle Tots kiddo and share it either in the comments on this Facebook page or you can certainly email it to me. And we will do a shout out next week so thank you, and we'll see you next week. Have an awesome possum week. Say goodbye to our really cool living creatures from our estuary. So cool. Watch them. They're hiding. Hermit crabs are so afraid. They are pretty uh, uh, shy little guys. Alrighty, guys. Totally awesome. See you later. Bye.